Writing down your trades is the best exercise in the world. Perhaps my number one rule is, don't try to make a profit on a bad trade, just try to find the best place to get out. The good traders are the ones who can hold their ground the majority of the month and participate in that small handful of trades that are windfalls. The real skill is in not losing money. If you ever have to ask someone else's opinion on a trade, you shouldn't be in it. Some of the best trades come when everyone gets very panicky. The crowd can often act very stupidly in the markets. You can picture price fluctuations around an equilibrium level as a rubber band being stretched. If it gets pulled too far, eventually it will snap back. As a short-term trader, I try to wait until the rubber band is stretched to its extreme point. I believe that only short-term price swings can be predicted with any precision. The accuracy of a prediction drops off dramatically the more distant the forecast time. I'm a strong believer in chaos theory. Speech may be silver but silence is golden. Traders with the golden touch do not talk about their success. The third important ingredient for achieving peak performance is attitude. Attitude is how you deal with the inevitable adverse situations that occur in the markets. Attitude is also how you handle the daily grind, the constant two steps forward and two steps back. I believe my most important skill is an ability to perceive patterns in the market. I think this aptitude for pattern recognition is probably related to my heavy involvement with music. There are too many unpredictable things that can happen within two months. To me, the ideal trade lasts 10 days, but I approach every trade as if I'm only going to hold it two or three days. The truth is that once you get down on the trading floor, you find that the traders come from all walks of life. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to be a trader. In fact, some of the best traders whom I knew down on the floor were surf bums. Formal education didn't really seem to have much to do with a person's skill as a trader. I try to wait until things set up just right before I take a trade. Then, when I'm ready to take the trade, I slowly count to 10 before I pick up the phone. It's better to have the wrong idea and good timing than the right idea and bad timing. I'm also a firm believer in predicting price direction, but not magnitude. I don't set price targets. I get out when the market action tells me it's time to get out, rather than based on any consideration of how far the price has gone. You have to be willing to take what the market gives you. I truly feel that I could give away all my secrets and it wouldn't make any difference. Most people can't control their emotions or follow a system. Also, most traders wouldn't follow my system, even if I gave them step-by-step -step instructions, because my approach wouldn't feel right to them. Understand that learning the market can take years. Immerse yourself in the world of trading and give up everything else. Get as close to other successful traders as you can. Consider working for one for free. Losing small is a skill. 